Okay, first of all, I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers because I just hit 8,000 but I know that a lot of you still don't really know much about me. I mean, there's still people asking me what my name is even. And the video I'm about to show you is actually already on my channel. But I know a lot of you haven't seen it yet because I know it's only got like 4,000 views and it kind of explains a lot about me. Well, at least a lot more than most people know at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Okay, and the second thing is I just want to update everybody on the baby. He's still alive and kicking and doing very well and in fact we actually felt him kicking for the first time not that long ago so that was very exciting for us. Another thing is my wife recently got me a gift which you see I'm wearing now which is the Graphic Design Guy t-shirt but along with that t-shirt she got me this Graphic Design Baby onesie so that's super cute and we're going to be matching very very soon hopefully and yeah I guess now it's just time for the video. Okay, so I'm going to try and attempt to draw my life for you. I was born in 1984 in a city called London. So this is my mum and dad. They decided to name me after James Bond, which is pretty cool, only they couldn't pronounce the name. I'm not really sure why they gave me a name they can't pronounce, but then I kind of loved that. And now nearly everyone calls me James. When I got older, I got some hair, and it kind of looked like this. Thanks mum. <laughs> Thankfully I wasn't the only one. I'd got a brother who also shared the same awesome hairstyle. <laughs> we were one big happy family. I went to primary school and secondary school, still sporting the same hairstyle. My hair didn't really get any better in college either. But I somehow made it to university still. Eh, life wasn't too bad. But something was missing. It turned out that something was you. You were missing. But a day before my 23rd birthday I got the best gift I could have ever hoped for. And it turned out to be you. And as time went by we fell in love. And then we went on our first holiday together to Greece. And it could not have started any worse even if we tried. All sorts of problems came up including me getting like a gazillion mosquito bites on the very first night. But we were so in love that we were determined to enjoy ourselves. And I remember on the way to the beach, you saw this beautiful crystal that you really, really wanted. But I kind of convinced you that we should just get it on the way back so we didn't have to carry it to the beach. But while we were in another shop, I ran as fast as I've ever ran to get back to the shop just so that I could buy it without you knowing. And on the way back, you thought someone else had bought it and you were so, so sad. But then I revealed that it was actually me that bought it. And the biggest smile I had ever seen came on your face. And ever since that day, I kind of realised that there was no better feeling than making you happy. We then went all over the world together. From Greece to Japan to Cuba, back to Japan, and to Spain, to France, to Vietnam, to Italy. And now for the past six years now, the 8th of April has been my favourite day, because I know it means that I've spent another year with you. So now there's nothing to talk about but our future. So what does the future bring for us? Well, I can't promise you a big house or even tons of money. But what I can promise you is my love. I will continue to try and surprise you over and over again and try my best to make you the happiest girl in the world. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's one more tiny little surprise. 